Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can publicly save your Android Studio project inside a GitHub repository. It's a very simple and basic process. All you have to do is enable a few buttons inside Android Studio and push the code inside the repository that you have created. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. My name is Samian Samant. Welcome to the channel. Alright, so first of all what we are going to have to do is we are going to have to go to this website called Git. Now what Git will do is, Git is usually used to handle projects from small to large scale whatever projects you have. So Git is used for version control. What will happen is if you create applications, you can save those versions of the applications and then further go on upgrading or it can be used to download the previous versions that you have saved. Okay. So first of all, download Git from this uh, website. I've linked this website in the description so you can go ahead and do that. Now I've already downloaded and installed it on my PC. So I'm not going to do that again. It is a very basic procedure. There's nothing to learn in that. So just download it and install it. Now, once you have installed Git, next thing we have to do is we have to go to GitHub. Now, if you don't have an account already, no problem. Just sign up on GitHub and you will get an account. And once you have created an account, what we have to do is we have to create a new repository. So just hit on new, go to your profile, hit on new. Here we'll have to give a name to the repository. So I'll just give it grid layout. Okay, so grid layout. So my code is basically the one of grid layout here. I have created a grid with 10 buttons inside it. I have already explained this in a video. If you want to see that video, it's right here on top right. So let's get back. So once you have given a name to your repository, you can either add a description. It's optional and keep it public. Private is kind of a paid feature. So don't go for that and go for public. And you have all these settings if you can, you want to add it. Okay. Read me file and all that stuff. I'm not going to do that. So once you have given a name description and keep, keep kept it public, we'll just go ahead and create the repository. Let it take its time. Let it create and it's done. So an empty repository has been created. Now our work is done on GitHub. Now we'll go to Android Studio. Now you have the project right here, right? And you just need to know that it doesn't have any kind of errors and it's working totally fine. Now, once you are sure that it works fine, just go to VCS up here. Okay. VCS and enable version control integration. Just hit that. Now it will show a tab here. Okay. Select a version control system to associate with the project root. Now we are using Git, right? We have downloaded it and installed it. So just select Git and hit OK. See, you'll see two more buttons here. Git, this one, which is update project and this one, which is commit. So see all these files got read right here. Usually we are on Android, right? Where's Android? Yeah, here, Android. If you open this thing and resources and all that stuff, it will show red because all of these files have not been added to your Git. So what we're going to do is once you enable the version control settings, what we'll do is see here, this is Android, right? Click on this and go to project. Okay. See, it has all the files. So what we're going to do, first of all, right click on this. Then you'll see an option here, Git. Okay. Now there are three things we which we want to do, which is first of all, add the files to Git, commit the directory and then push the code inside Git. Okay. Inside the repository. All right. So first of all, what we'll do is, as I said, add, add the files to Git. Just click on add. Let it take its time and see all of these turn green. Second thing, right click again, go to Git and commit the directory let it take its time okay now let me explain what commit means now commit is something like a checkpoint inside a game okay so let's say you're playing a game you create a checkpoint you go ahead you start playing and let's say you die so what will happen is you'll respawn at the checkpoint right so it's very similar here also so let's say you commit here and you go ahead and you make some changes to your code and let's say due to some error the code doesn't work anymore so what we'll do is you'll go back to that commit and you can download all the files from there 
and then start again from that step okay so here you can name the version of the commit so let's say this is my final version right so i'll write final commit or final version whatever you want to write you can write it here okay and once you have written it here all you have to do is just press on commit it will take its time now once it is done it will show you some basic warnings and errors and all that stuff because see these these warnings are shown when you have some hard coded text or all that stuff which still works on your applications so you can ignore this but if you have any kind of errors there's a difference between warnings and errors so if you have any kind of errors i would recommend don't go ahead okay warnings are okay you can still go ahead all right so i'll just ignore this and i'll hit commit see it's still performing something right here and we are done 39 files committed final commit now once you're done with the commit last thing that we have to do is we have to push the code inside the repository on github right so we'll right click again go to git see down here repository and select push click on push you can't really see anything here right because we have to click on this which is define remote because it still doesn't know where the repository is right so we'll click on it it will ask for the url it will ask you where the repository is exactly so we'll go back see we have created the repository right so we'll just copy this url we'll go back and we'll paste it here hit ok it will check the url and it will show see final commit we had kept the name final commit right so here you have all this stuff the whole project basically and once we are done with this just hit push let it take its time see it's pushing and the message is here pushed master to branch new branch origin slash master so we're done let's go to the website git and we'll refresh the site and as you can see the code is here see final commit everywhere one minute ago you committed you have uh, initiated one commit and they have created a branch master you can also download the code from here it will give you option either you can download the zip or open with github desktop so yeah that's it you can also keep a readme file for this code all right you can do all of that stuff later but this is the basic procedure to add your project on github okay so that's it for the video guys now if you find this video useful hit that like button it really helps with the algorithm share this video friends so they can also make use of the version control system of github and consider subscribing to the channel how to take videos tech reviews gaming coding vlogging is all that goes on on this channel so if that's your vibe hit that subscribe button also follow me on instagram twitter spotify and github all the links are provided in the description below and ladies and gentlemen that's it for this video thank you for watching this video bye bye